Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunmus Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thunmus Fishing Tips. Yes folks, I've got the boatless angler with me today. I'm here with Antonio. He's fishing already. You know, he likes to get his line in first. And I love that excitement, folks. I love it. Okay, so I got my line in now too. Today, folks, looking for walleye or bass or trout. It's the month of November, so you could catch either or. And we are running the flexi jig today, folks. Um, I'm running the three quarter ounce flexi jig and I've got the, uh, the bluish color schoolie minnow on, folks. And as you know, the flexi jig flexes down. The flexi jig flexes down on the hook set. So it changes the angle of the hook set. And we're gonna work these flexi jigs in the current. And every once in a while, you come across a rock, you just kind of lift it up, get you out of the snags. But that's where the walleye are, folks. They're down hugging the bottom, sitting in amongst those rocks, waiting for bait to come by. So what we're hoping for, folks, is just bouncing these off the bottom and if I didn't mention it, I'm running three quarter ounce because it's a, there's a strong current here. And if there wasn't such a small current, a large strong current, I would go down to a half ounce. But today, there's a strong current. And I went with a little bit heavier jig. Antonio, what size do you have? Do you know? Three quarter ounce. Three quarter as well. Okay, yeah. so we're both running three quarter. I went with a black head with that bluish body. And you went with... Black head and I think it has a dark shadow. Oh, black head and the dark shallow, dark shadow schoolie. Okay, yeah. so we're both using a dark head. I might switch to chartreuse at some point, or if we go up river where the current is stronger, I think I'll bump up to a one ounce. Uh, but anyhow, we're gonna try some different things and see if we can trigger a hit. Just bouncing these flexi jigs off the bottom. So stay tuned, folks. So glad you could join us. That rod is doubled right this over. Is a nice fish. Ho, 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 Antonio. The boatless angler is struck first, folks. Where is he? On this side? side? Can you swing him around or? Why don't you go to the front of the boat? I think so. Actually, he's coming back. Coming back around? Okay. You know what? It feels like a lake trout or something. Feels like a lake trout? Well, like I said, you could be trout, could be bass, could be walleye this time of year. What's our water temp, anyhow? Our water temp is. Where is it there? 50 degrees, 50.9 to be exact. Oh, you got a nice fish or whatever you got. It's a sheephead. A sheephead. <laughs> okay. It's not a walleye, it's not a bass, and it's not a trout. <laughs> it's a sheephead. Big one too. Yeah. Wow. wow, he nailed it, eh? He did. Wow. <laughs> okay. That's a good fish. Wow, when I saw your rod doubled over after you set the hook, I thought, what does he got? I was not expecting this. I wouldn't be expecting a sheep head either. Pliers? Uh, yeah. Needle nose right here. Here you go. Hey, it's a start. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that either. I would have mentioned that. <laughs> Let's take a look at him. Oh, it's a good, it's a good size sheep head. <laughs> look at that fish big fish and they're powerful eh from fighting that current I'm on the board you're on the board and I got a here here's a little thunderous towel to keep clean your hands with Thank you. so he came out of 20 feet of water that's a good sign though because where there's one there's more and if the sheep head are here there's gonna be other fish here too. very nice okay folks looks like it's my time for a hit he just picked it up Another sheep head, maybe? Are we in a sheep head zone or what? I don't know. He's doing some head shakes. Head shakes. It might be a trout. It might be a trout. Get the net. If you get the net. It might be a nice trout, Antonio. So here's the thing, folks. When you're fishing the river, or when you're fishing a current system, you want to get down to the bottom as quickly as possible. So I'm running braided line, very, very thin thunder braid. And I also have a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader, which is also thin. So the line is getting down there quickly. And you want to get down to that bottom and then stay close to the bottom. Because that's again where the fish are. They're out of the current, hugging the bottom, waiting for bait to come by. And it looks like, Antonio, at least we're into some kind of fish. It might be another sheephead, I don't know. 
Let's see what we got here. He's sure starting to fight like a sheep. He's head. fighting. Like <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we have a blast with these this summer? Yeah. Out in the lake. It is a sheep head. Is it? Yep. Oh yeah. That's fun. Well, the sheep head are here. Not as big as yours though. Nice. <laughs> oh, he's healthy too. Look at that. He's, he's healthy. Coloration on him, nice and healthy. Look at that. Look at that. Actually, he is healthy. Beautiful fish. Gee, they are nice. Okay, well, I tell you what, folks, he gave me a real nice bite. A real nice fight. Fish? You got that caught? Yeah. Oh, there. Thanks. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, folks, we're off to a good start. A fun start, anyway. But would like to get a walleye or a bass yeah. or a trout, right? We're going to keep trying. Okay, but yeah, that's the key. You want to get you want to get that bait down to the bottom as quickly as possible. Let me adjust my schoolie here just a bit. He kind of... There we go. Very nice. Get it down there as quickly as possible it down there and the only reason why I went with the dark it looks like you did too because we got a bit of a dark day so I started dark day dark color however in this water the chartreuse color is also very good yeah, exactly well it's good and the white too when the water is a little murky a little murky but it's crystal clear today so I think it's gonna be the black and or the chartreuse but right now if the blacks working don't fix what's not broken Okay, let's see if we can get into some other fish. <laughs> okay, folks. So, I did four things since we had the camera off. Because Antonio and I caught, what, one sheephead each since yeah. we turned the camera off? Yeah. Two other sheepheads. So I said, all right, I'm going to do four things different. One, I grabbed my different rod. Two, I went with a one-ounce flexi jig. Three, I went with a chartreuse color. And four, I put on the smoky silver schoolie bait. And I guess five things different. I cast out in the, the reason I went with the heavier jig is because I'm working the stronger current area. And whack. First cast, I pick up a fish. Now, it could be another sheephead, I don't know, but we're trying to change things up to see if we could trigger something else to hit. But, on the other hand, maybe that's all that's here today, our sheephead, right? Let's see what we got here. Fighting a little bit differently. The current's really strong. And it looks like to me another sheep head. Oh yeah? Okay. <laughs> and a big one too. <laughs> okay. The five differences produce the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta try something different, yeah, right? It's true. If you wanna change the result, but it looks like that's what we got down there. Our sheep head. Uh, get that. Okay, he hit it pretty hard too. Eh, I just went with the chartreuse head, chartreuse head and the smoky silver bait, which got the, all that silver fleck on the on the bottom. Lots of silver fleck on the bottom of this particular bait. And changed things up, but didn't change the result of what we caught. It's okay, that's the fifth sheep head of the day right there so far. Let's get him back in the water again. But you know what, folks? Maybe that's what we're going to get here today. And I'll tell you what, that's perfectly fine because you know what? It's a lot of fun regardless. They're biting good. They're fighting good. And we're having fun. It's a November day. It's a little bit cold. But the sun wants to peek out a little bit. Hopefully it will. Because if it does, it'll warm up just a bit. Okay, I'll toss it here on your side of the boat, Antonio. <laughs> well, just a slight move. This fish feels a little bit different. It feels like a bass, maybe, but he's not hes not coming to the surface. So I, stu I stuck with the one ounce chartreuse and the smoky silver. Let me come around your side, Antonio. Sure. So we just moved upstream just a bit, but I kept the same same lure on and this is a medium 
heavy actually power rod which has got a lot of backbone to it he's not fighting like a bass uh, you know why it's a walleye because it's a walleye folks and that's what we wanted in the net how's that antonio good fish <laughs> nice oh uh, yes now you're talking folks now you're talking that's what we came here for right there bass or walleye after having fun with the sheep head. and look at that hook set i want you to check that out that is a typical flexi jig hook set look at that right up the snout just like that gorgeous fish you know what quick picture for facebook and instagram we're gonna keep this fish that's a good eater yeah <laughs> absolutely beautiful fish and it is a good eater. I like that nice little black spot there on the fin. Isn't that neat? They got that black spot right there on the fin. And then the very distinguished white tip on the tail right there. They got that nice little white tip. And I love seeing that white tip on the tail. You know, he was fighting a little bit differently. We'll go in the box. We don't even have any water in the live well, Antonio. <laughs> okay, we gotta get him in. Let's get some water in that live well going. But he was fighting different. He's fighting different, kind of like a, kind of like a bass would be fighting. But then he wasn't jumping, so I'm thinking, hmm, I'm wondering if it's a walleye. And in fact, it was. Okay. So Antonio, a few changes, variety of fish. Hey, you gotta love that. Okay. Get my line back in there again. We'll switch his box. But you know what, folks, I got to tell you, working these jigs, it's a lot of fun. When you feel that little, just set the hook. Or if you see the line kind of twitch a little, just set the hook. Anytime you're jigging, you feel anything different, set the hook. And I'm hoping we're going to set some more hooks. But you know what? We're already off to a fantastic start today, folks. It was a lot of fun catching those sheep heads. And now we're into the walleye. Hopefully there's some more here. But I'm happy with the one. We got ourselves a nice lunch. Perfect. Hey, okay, fresh, nice fish. fresh fish fry and a nice lunch. All right. Well, folks, wherever you're tuning in from, I want to thank you for spending time with me and Antonio today on today's episode of Thunderous Fish and Pepper. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck. Good fishing. <laughs>